Okay, so today we're going to do a quick video about upgrading to USB sockets. Uh, it's quite a simple, simple upgrade. More and more devices are needing charged with these things, so sometimes you just don't have enough sockets. So this can, this can ease the load a bit. Uh, this is a 3.1 amp. Um, you get different ratings for it, so that, that would be ample for what I'm going to use it for, for overnight charging. Absolutely fine. Uh, they come in all different ratings, the different sizes. So that's something to check. The cheaper ones will be lower, lower ratings on them. This, this is a pretty um, easy conversion. So in this one, you can see at the top, the brown will be live, blue is a neutral and the green and yellow is the earth. So it's just three, the wires going one, two, three, and there. And obviously you just screw them down with your screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. The only thing you need to be aware of is the back on these, um, because of the USBs here, the back can be quite big, so it fills your backing box. So if you've got a lot of cables and stuff in, the, in, in your backing box, you're going to find it hard to get in. Also, if the backing box uh, is a metal one and it's not been cut out properly, you might find that it clashes sometimes. So just be aware of that. It might not be as straightforward as you might think at first. But yeah, if you run into problems, you might just have to put it somewhere else. So what I do is the very first thing, obviously, is switch off your power. If you're not sure which fuse controls your sockets, just cut all the power in your house and you should still have a tester or something to test if there is any power on that so, uh, on that socket before you even start. If you're not confident in this at all, don't even try it. Just get an electrician in, you'll be in for half an hour to do this. Um, it's quite an easy job. So I'm just going to go through it quickly and you'll be able to see um, if, you're, if you're confident enough to do it yourself. Let's get started. Okay, this is a socket I'm going to be changing today. I'm going to switch it off. That means so it says ready to go. Before you get started, just make sure that's opened up and ready. I just I just like to open them up. Now when you open up your socket, you should see if it's a, a, a ring system, it will have um, a live going in, a live going out. So there should be two lives, two neutrals, two earths to be put into the socket. Now when you're doing any electrical work, it's a good idea to use electrical screwdrivers because uh, well, they are insulated right up so it's quite hard to blow yourself up with one of these although it's still you can still manage it but when uh, the shaft's all metal it's really easy to touch that while you're while you're um, unscrewing or screwing things so it's a good idea just to have a, these electrical screwdrivers just take out your screws so this is a hollow wall box, um, this is in a plasterboard wall, so most people will have hollow wall boxes and as you can see, um, this one is actually just a spur, so there's only one of each cable, but yours will probably be a, a ring system, so there'll be two, two lives and two neutrals, two earths, this one's only got one each, so what we do is change this over. To the new one so it should be nice and easy it looks like that'll fit in quite well the screws for your new socket are usually just hidden on the back there you can see them there just hidden there you just pop them out there's two of them one at each side and then you can use the new screws uh, for putting that socket in okay so always test before you get stuck in there now I know this tester works because I test it on something live uh, so this always test your tester and then test test the power. You can never be too careful. Okay, just pull out the wires. So you're left with a live neutral earth. Remember, this is a slightly different setup. Uh, so the brown one there is the live, the blue one neutral, and the earths will be over here. Put the earth in first. No, 
particular reason. So I work my way along. Of course, the the live cable is the furthest away and the shortest one, of course. So. Just be careful. These cables are all sort of doubled over. Um, that's to give you a better grip. If you've got two cables, they'll probably just be straight because you, it's really hard to fit in two doubled over cables into one of those holes. So they should all fit in nice and easy. All you're doing is marrying up the colours. If you've got modern, uh, modern wiring, you should have. You should be able to marry that up so you can see blue to blue, brown to brown, green and yellow to green and yellow. Okay, when you put those cables in, make sure that you've tightened, tightened them up really tight. You want them tight. You don't want any loose cables. Make sure your cables are in there and they're not, they're not loose in any way. So you want to give them a wee tug, make sure they don't come out. Um, if they come out, then you're, it's too loose. If you don't make them tight, then what happens is you can get sparking um, where the where they're not tight enough and you get like a tiny wee spark and that can create heat and it sort of melts your sockets out. Uh, if you're really unlucky, they can cause a fire. So you want to make sure that your your um, cables are in tight. It's as simple as that. That's basically it. So now all we need to do is put it on the face. Make sure it fits first. Because Sometimes these don't want to fit because it's quite it's a good bit deeper. If you look at the old one, it's actually further down. It's a good bit further down and uh, it takes up less space in there. This one's really full. So you want to make sure that you can actually get this on. It does go in, but it's like it's really tight. And then once you get it like that, you can move it about just to get Get it squared up with your decoration again. Put this in. But when you're doing it, just make it tight so that it's you don't want to over tighten this just enough so you can't really move the socket. You can over tighten them and burst, burst the metal and the plastic inside. You want to put in the plug and pull it out. Um, and no movement should be on that socket. Ready to go. I'm just going to put the power back on and then we can test this. So I'll get this in again. <laughs> it doesn't quite go in with it with it interfering with that switch, but there we go. We have power. So I want to test these things, so I'm gonna leave that one in there on that side. And just because I know more, it's actually interfering with that switch. This is a smart socket. That's us. We have charge. So I don't need lots of sockets for the devices I normally charge. <laughs> and that's it. That's how to, that's how to fit uh, a USB socket. So I'll say it again. If you're not confident about any part of this, do not do it, just get an electrician in. It's a quick and easy job for an electrician to be in and out of your house in no time and it wouldn't cost you that much. But yeah, if you're feeling confident, you can see it's quite an easy job. There's not a lot to it. Make sure those cables are tight and uh, yeah, make sure you're, you've got enough room in your backing box for that because they do take up a lot more space than a normal socket. So just bear that in mind. And uh, yeah, good luck.